Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Vikings dub destination for $20 million DB, former defensive player of the year. The Minnesota Vikings put together an undeniably strong draft by landing quarterback J.J. McCarthy and edge rusher Dallas Turner in the first round, but there are still some premier positions that can use upgrades at the top of the depth chart. Perhaps chief among those positions is cornerback, after Minnesota struggled again in the secondary during the 2023 season. David Kenyon of Bleacher Report on Sunday, April 28 named Minnesota among the best potential landing spots for cornerback Stefan Gilmore, most recently of the Dallas Cowboys. Stefan Gilmore has traveled an adventurous road. He spent five seasons with the Buffalo Bills and four on the New England Patriots, but he's jumped from the Carolina Panthers to the Indianapolis Colts to the Cowboys over the last three years. There may be a reunion in the works, too. Carolina is thin at corner and didn't address the position on the opening two days of the draft. The Minnesota Vikings and Las Vegas Raiders should be picking up the phone as well. No matter where he lands, Gilmore should be a locked-in starter. He surrendered 6.9 yards per target with Dallas in 2023, which was his worst mark over the last six years, and it's still pretty darn good. Gilmore, who will turn 34 years old in September, has played 12 seasons in the NFL. He has earned Pro Bowl honors five times over that span and has been a first-team All-Pro twice. The cornerback also won the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2019. Gilmore played out the second season of a two-year, $20 million contract with the Cowboys in 2023. Spotrack projects his market value at just $9 million over a new one-year contract, which would represent significant value for the Vikings, who have just shy of $16.7 million in salary cap space for the 2024 campaign as of Sunday. Over the course of his career, Gilmore has amassed 140 pass breakups, 31 INTs, and seven forced fumbles across 165 games played, 158 starts, per pro football reference. Gilmore isn't the only big-name cornerback still seeking a home as April leans toward May. Kenyon also named Minnesota a viable destination for former Miami Dolphins defensive back Xavier Howard, who they released this offseason in order to save $18.5 million against their salary cap. The reason the Vikings will presumably have interest in one, or both, of the two highly decorated cornerbacks is twofold. First, Minnesota finished 24th in the NFL last season against the pass, surrendering 3,986 yards to opponents through the air. Secondly, the Vikings' two starting cornerbacks, Byron Murphy Jr. and A. Caleb Evans, were well below average performers last year, per advanced analytics calculated by Pro Football Reference, PFF. The two players finished 87th and 99th out of 127 NFL cornerbacks who played enough snaps last year to qualify for a ranking. Beyond that, Murphy has just one year remaining on his current contract, while Evans has just two seasons left on his rookie deal. Minnesota drafted Makai Blackman out of USC in the third round last season before taking Kyrie Jackson out of Oregon in the fourth round on Saturday. While either, or both, could develop into long-term answers for the Vikings, betting on them as regular starters in 2024 could be a risky proposition. The team also added veteran defensive back Shaq Griffin in the offseason on a one-year contract, though it's clear the Vikings could use more help in the secondary before the 2024 campaign kicks off a little over four months from now. Cowboys veteran named potential cut candidate after NFL draft steal. The Dallas Cowboys addressed their secondary with one of the steals of the NFL draft, but that may mean a departure for a team veteran. Dallas didn't add a corner until the fifth round, but there is early optimism for new corner Kalen Carson. That's why blogging the boys writer Jess Haney believes Nash and Wright could be in trouble. Wright, along with Israel Mukuamu, have new competition for roster spots. While fifth-round picks are hardly roster locks, Kalen Carson is entering a CB room ready for new blood. 
even before the draft, it was hard to imagine Wright making the roster again after three years of nothing. But the former third-round pick has hung around thanks to that draft pedigree and a lack of competition, Haney wrote on April 28. Carson was seen as a steal, getting third-round grades from some sources, and will hopefully raise the bar for the backup corners. There's an entire off-season of work that will decide who sticks around, but a new option is enticing. Dallas has found an exceptional starting duo in Trayvon Diggs and Darren Bland, but the spots behind that are not set in stone. The primary appeal of Carson is that he has tools coaches can't teach. At 6'0 and 200 pounds, Carson has classic NFL corner size and athleticism to match. Carson doesn't have the experience that other prospects have, but he can still develop further. According to Sports Reference, Carson missed several games in 2021 and 2022. He played 36 games at Wake Forest over four seasons, but he produced at a decent rate all the same. Carson registered 26 passes defended over his four seasons, nabbing three interceptions along the way. He also forced two fumbles over that time. NFL.com's Lance Zierlein projected Carson as a third-round pick. The draft analyst does think he needs to develop, but believes the former Demon Deacon could make the jump. He works through route combinations from zone and will come downhill and strike with good purpose most of the time, Zierlein wrote. Carson's angles to the throw and as a tackler can be spotty, leading to missed opportunities. Overall, the physical traits are ahead of the positional skills, but there is enough in place to project him as an eventual CB3. While Carson was the only DB to be drafted, the Cowboys did add UDFA signing and former East Carolina safety Julius Wood. While most fans won't be familiar with Wood's game, they should know that he was a big deal for the Pirates. The Columbus, Ohio native brought down two interceptions in each of his last two seasons. He also led the team in tackles both years. Now, he's ready to make an impact in Dallas. How about them boys, Wood wrote on X, Wood was actually one of three safeties signed to the Cowboys UDFA class. Dallas also added Imani Johnson out of Nevada, as well as Texas A&M prospect Josh DeBerry, who initially started his college career at Boston College. Former Patriots running back Ezekiel Elliott reportedly rejoins Cowboys in free agency. Veteran running back Ezekiel Elliott will not be back with the New England Patriots in 2023. According to a report by NFL Network's Tom Pelissero and Ian Rappaport, the 28-year-old will rejoin the Dallas Cowboys as a free agent. Elliott joined the Patriots last August, five months after the Cowboys originally released him. Starting his career in New England as a complementary back alongside Ramondra Stevenson, he eventually took over as the main running back down the stretch. With Stevenson nursing injuries and appearing in just 12 of 17 games, Elliott finished the season as the Patriots' leader in both carries, 184, and receptions, 51, and also ranked tops among his teammates in yards from scrimmage, 955. He also found the end zone on five different occasions. Nonetheless, the team decided not to retain him after the expiration of his one-year, $3 million contract in mid-March. Instead, he will now rejoin the club he already called home from 2016 to 2022. Elliott started his career as the fourth overall selection in the 2016 draft. The Ohio State product quickly burst onto the scene, rushing for a league-leading 1,631 yards and getting voted first-team All-Pro as a rookie. He remained a productive member of the Cowboys' offense for the next several seasons, but after a career-best 2001 scrimmage yards in 2018 saw his production decrease each year. By 2022, he shared the workload with Tony Pollard and as a result had the least productive statistical season of his career up until that point. The following March, the Cowboys released Elliott, paving the way for him to join the Patriots. Now, the two will go their separate ways again. With Elliott out of the picture, New England's running back core stands at six deep. 
the aforementioned Ramondre Stevenson is joined by free agency acquisition Antonio Gibson, undrafted rookie Deshaun Fenwick, and returning veterans Kevin Harris, Jamichael Hasty, and Kushan Vaughn. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Zeke Elliott? Leave your opinion in the comments.